G'day everyone, Lauren Kress, the business scientist here. So I get asked heaps of questions about how do I turn my LinkedIn Live on? Where's the LinkedIn Live function? How come you can broadcast on LinkedIn Live and I can't? So the simple answer is you can become a broadcaster, but LinkedIn doesn't allow everyone to become a broadcaster. So you have to go through an application process to become a LinkedIn Live broadcaster. Unlike with newsletters where you have to be invited, you can actually apply. So I'll put the links to the application form in the description below, but essentially you go through and answer some questions. So LinkedIn actually gives you a pretty good idea of what they're looking for. The key thing to understand is that LinkedIn wants people to be using the streaming regularly and they want you to have an idea for what you're going to put out there. Obviously, they want to keep people on the platform, so the content needs to be good. Uh, I think podcasters in particular are at an advantage or if you live stream on other social media platforms already, awesome because you've got a history of actually showing up and doing that and you can tell LinkedIn about that as well in your application. So uh, you basically go through, I would recommend um, that you apply as a member rather than a LinkedIn page unless you have a really, really good reason to do so. If you are a small business owner, if you're an entrepreneur, at the end of the day, people follow people. That's what LinkedIn's about. LinkedIn is about following other people. Uh, So I highly recommend applying as a member rather than as a LinkedIn page because you otherwise you have to grow your LinkedIn page where getting followers on your profile a lot easier because they automatically sort of follow you if they're a connection. Um, They're going to ask you this question where they say, what ideas do you have for streaming live on LinkedIn? So this is what I was talking about before. Make sure you fill that in. Actually show that you have a bit of a program for what you're going to to put out there, why you want to do it. And also LinkedIn is looking for people who are going to live stream regularly. So daily or weekly, my guess is that's going to be much better than if you say monthly or less than monthly. I don't have absolute evidence for that. But what I do know is that for people who don't use LinkedIn Live regularly, they actually sometimes take it away. So I know that that has happened in some cases. They go, you're not using this enough. We could give this to someone else. Uh, we're going to take this off you. So that's basically it. You you fill in the application form, you hit submit, give them a bit of time. Supposedly they will send you an email, but I missed out on that. I didn't realize that they sent me an email saying I actually had access. So if you're not sure, the other thing to keep an eye out on is on your LinkedIn account itself. So what will happen is on the side here on your homepage, on your newsfeed page, if you're not on that page, you just click home. You will need to be on the desktop version for this and you will see on the side here, there'll be a little red dot saying you have access to broadcasting or something like that. If you have that, it means you have access and then you have to click through and essentially what LinkedIn does, unlike Facebook and Instagram and TikTok, where you actually have the ability to live stream from the platform itself, what LinkedIn gets you to do is use a third party platform and then connect it with your profile. So I'm going to do a separate video showing you once you have access, what you need to do. Once that's up, I'll make sure I put a link in here. If you want more LinkedIn profile tips, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll catch you next time.